because that's when it all started to kick off properly and it was actually the 2nd of July rather than the 4th of July. Interesting, look into that. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Do you have Rish? Hi Barry. How you doing? Good, how are you? I am very good, thank you. The last video, you said that your knowledge of America wasn't the best. My knowledge on America is absolutely terrible. And 4th of July is coming up. I actually just want to see how much you know. Okay. So what would you say your knowledge is like on the 4th of July? It's not terrible. Yeah. But it's not the best. I'm not an expert. Could be better. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? Washington. What is it? Philadelphia. <laughs> Do you know who wrote Declaration of Independence? I'm not entirely sure for that one. Is it, I think it's Benjamin Franklin. But I'm not yeah, sure. I think it's Benjamin Franklin. I do. He just got ahead. You're both wrong. Uh, Roosevelt. <laughs> Tom Jefferson. I have a challenge for you, Roche. Okay. I'm gonna give you some time today to do some intensive research. Oh. On the 4th of July. Oh. And we'll come back and we'll test your knowledge. How's that sound? I'm up for the challenge. All right, let's do it. You let's have it. two hours. Two hours? Yeah, to learn everything you need to know about 4th of July. Okay, I'm on it. Do the montage. How's it going? It's going. Got an interesting fact for you. Guess how many hot dogs are consumed over the Independence Day in the US? How many hot dogs are consumed? Yeah. Half a billion. False. Ah. 150 million. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a 4th of July expert now? Full on expert. I've just got my book. Wow. I've taken a note. Would you like to see? My sister made me this. It says sister love. And I keep it with me in my diary. Um, so I've taken some notes. You can't use the notes when I give you the questions now, unfortunately. Independence Day. And it is the day the colonies declared independence against the Kingdom of Great Britain. Pennsylvania. No, Philadelphia. And it was in the Pennsylvania house, which later got, was called the... It's an obvious one, it's I know it is. It's obvious, yeah. Independence House. Very close. Independent <laughs> building. Club. Independent State. No. no. It gives it H though. H? Hub? No. Hut. <laughs> <laughs> Hall. Independent Hall. Yes, I knew H. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Mm -hmm. We hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created equal. John Hancock was the president at the time. His status and position didn't mean much. However, his signature meant more. You know what that was? Nailed it. <laughs> Almost. Well, he's president of Congress. Yeah, that's what I meant. So there's 56 um, and there were some that didn't do it at the time and they did it like a couple of months later yeah there's 56 in total and some of those 
didn't actually sign on the day. 2nd of August, 1776. 50 stars, 13 stripes. 50 stars are the number of states in the US and 13 stripes are the British colonies that declared independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain. <laughs> Happy 4th of July from everybody at Camp Leaders. If you like this video and you want to see more camp and travel content, make sure you like this video and hit subscribe.